Hi, today we're going to be tying what I call the glassy brassy. I love the brassy. It's an easy fly to tie, and I like the way it looks when it's done. But if you tie it the normal way, running the copper wire down the shank of the hook and then counter wrapping it back to the front, you get deformities. From a certain angle, I guess it looks fine, but to my mind, it has never really been appealing. I'm sure it doesn't matter to the fish all that much, but um, I would rather have a more uniform fly than one that looks a little bit deformed. So I came up with the glassy brassy, and it's a super easy fly to tie. We just use a couple things. We use our wire, we use our thread, and then we use uh, UV gel. Now I use the Modalone's gel because my daughter recommended it and she knows all about this kind of stuff. You want to get the top coat because that's the dry coat, the one that doesn't feel tacky when it gets finished. So secure your hook in your vise. I've already mashed the barb and put my bead on the end of it. Get like that we're just going to take our wire now we're just going to wrap it around the shank of the hook we're not going to add any thread we're not going to tie it down we're just going to wrap it so we start at the very back and we're going to try to do touching wraps from here to about two lengths uh, two eye lengths behind the bead all right now once i get it where i want it i'm going to helicopter it off i'm going to speed this up because it really doesn't make all that good of television my fingers blocking everything but once it's done there we go we're going to add our UV gel to the copper wire so just add it until it is completely coated you want it to soak down in between the wires underneath you can rotate this to kind of try to keep it even all uh, the coating even over the whole thing but I've got a little too much here, so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to run it right underneath the fly, and that will take enough off. It'll still be enough remain to uh, enough will remain to do fine. Uh, you think I've ruined my scissors, but I haven't. Take your UV light, blast it, and it will just peel right off just like that. Now take your UV light and zap your fly till it's hardened. All right, once that's done, we're going to come in with our thread and we're going to tie on right behind the bead. Get the vise where I want it. There we go. A couple wraps to the right, a couple to the left. Clip off the tag end. I'm going to bring our peacock hurl in, and you'll notice that I tie the good side of the hurl toward the bead and the back, the bad side toward the back, and there's a reason for this. I'm going to get that tied down, and then I'm going to fold the peacock hurl over. And what this does, it builds up the spot between the body and the bead. That's important because we want a uniform looking fly. So once we get that done, we are going to wrap our hurl around three or four times so we get it how we like it. Once we do, I'm just going to swap places with the hurl and the thread. It's like that, flip it over the top, and I'm going to pull it hard and it seats it down inside that bead. Three or four more of these. Now give it a nice tug. I'm going to come in and clip off the ends of the hurl. All right, we're almost done. Just need to do a whip finish here. We'll do a three or four turn whip finish. You'll notice that I pull the thread toward the bead when I'm finishing this. You do that so it doesn't wrap over the top of your material. Give it another tug and it seats it down inside the bead. You can clip it off. Clip a little closer if you don't get it right the first time. There we go. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. Make it look a little nicer for the camera. Once I do that, I'm going to add some head cement. This is Sally's as hard as nails. I'm going to do a little more than that. I'm going to put it right on top of the bead and into the thread. And there we have our 
glassy, brassy. Thank you for watching.